guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yes, to our Wellus. Oh, again, I'm alone. Oh. Anyway, it's okay. Life happens. So, I'm back with the jam videos. Thank you so much for the support of the last video. Guys, you are amazing. And every content that I've been putting out there and you've been watching consistently with love, commenting, liking. Okay, I love everything that you do in our channel, including our Facebook page, whereby you send us the questions. So today, on the jam video, this, there are questions that I picked last time and then I was like, uh, I'll do research. I'm sorry, I did not. So I'm hoping I won't pick them. But if I do, I'm hoping I'm in the right mental state to answer them at the moment. So, shall we start? If you're liking this kind of content, please like, share and subscribe because let me tell you something guys. Right now I'm serious with this consistency. It's as serious as road to 5,000 subscribers before January. Guys, I know you can get me there right i know you can because I'm, I'm thinking of doing vlogmas so maybe you should motivate me Whew. wow ja don't fall this question is half if you go back in time would you still pick them i feel like it's kind of asking if I go back in time will I still the pattern I have right now will I still pick the pattern I have right now let me tell you guys as annoying as disturbing as irritating as it gets sometimes I don't think I can choose a bigger problem or a smaller problem than him he is the perfect problem in my life I said problem I repeat perfect problem in my life so I would pick that problem because I know very well that your problems are bigger than mine or smaller than mine or I can't handle your problems so let me stick with my problem problem is for Moranga <laughs> so annoying Jesus. how do you approach financial planning for major life milestones such as buying a home or starting a family hmm. I don't think starting a family that's a milestone that is you creating a responsibility for yourself. But when it comes to things like buying a home, first of all, I always say that if your dreams align, you'll always find a way of saving up for that. If your dreams align, you'll find that things like buying a car, buying a home, buying land, if you have the same goals, saving up for them becomes easier and more approachable. Or even better, you find that uh, you'll start working hard towards the goal. Most importantly, you don't depend on just your salary to do such big things. So it means you're going to work extra hard, but don't neglect your marriage in the process. So that one is when your life, when your dreams align, you don't need a lot of planning. You just need a lot of hard work. Yes. Planning is you deciding and saying it. But savings, hard work, that's what you need. As long as your dreams are aligning, that is true. Hey, this jar is almost empty, guys. We are going to be refilling it very soon because... Ooh. Okay. And I need to have um, a guy's perspective on these questions one day. How do you reconcile any conflicts or tensions between your religious beliefs and scientific advancement? <laughs> guys, I told you I should go study. How do you reconcile any conflicts or tension between your religious belief and scientific advancements? If it's me as a person, my religious beliefs and my scientific advancements, I don't think they're on the same page. I don't think so. Unless you mean things like, okay, do they even know? What I believe, I follow the Bible when it comes to my religious beliefs. When it comes to saying that's a syllabus in school, unless there's something to, like for example, I, I, I trust the fact that there is modern medicine to treat me, but I also trust the power of healing from God. So I don't think they align. I feel like one of them is based on faith, the other one is based on knowledge, but the other one must be proven, yet the other one is something that you don't need to prove to me. I have to just believe and it happens. So I don't think there'll ever be a conflict between the two. For me, there will not be conflict or tension between the two. Because one of them, I don't need proof. I don't need to prove to know that God exists. It's a belief that I have. My religious belief are not based on anything except the Bible. But my scientific advancement, there are things that are scientifically proven that I need. Like for example, modern medicine, that's a thing. We know right now that things like chemotherapy is there for cancer. Those are modern scientific things that I don't need. I really don't need to believe. I just need to be proven to or to try for me to understand them. So 
there is no conflicting thing between faith and science. For me, that is. If you think otherwise, correct me in the comment section while you are liking this video, sharing, and subscribing. Please, thank you. <laughs> if you changed role with your boss for a day, what is one policy that you would change? And have you ever had a bad encounter with a client? Okay, these are two questions that are very different. If I change, if I change roles with my boss, if I change roles with my boss, the one policy for a day. What is one policy that you would change? Yeah, I can achieve. Shut up from there. If I would change roles from a boss, I would. The one policy that I would change is you're not allowed to come to work with your bad mood. Yeah, like bad temper. Also, another thing is work relationships should be prohibited and most importantly destroyed, and you'll be fired if you are caught. Those are the things that I would not tolerate if I become a boss. We can be another witness. Can you shut up? I'm talking. You refuse to come on camera now. You are here making noise. Come stand here. And I'm recording. I'm recording. Hi guys, I'm here recording. I'm behind the camera. Be quiet. Be quiet. Shh. I'm Ever had a bad encounter with a cl client? Yes, I've had a bad encounter with a client, guys. Let me tell you something. Um, not once or twice. Okay, not ten times. Most of the people that I work with, they tend to go back on their deals. But the, the most worst encounters that I get with my clients is that they tend to hit on me and if I don't get into the box, queen gear box, sorry guys, they destroy the deal. And even worse, others come after my husband and if he doesn't in gear box, they destroy the business for me. Surely, why are you destroying my business and it's him that you want? Surely, you want him. Leave my business alone. So most of my bad encounters are those ones. So if someone wants my husband, leave my business out of it. Can't take both. Take one, my problem that I've given you. Okay. 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 Please keep quiet. I'm, I'm working. Yes. Mommy, yeah. Daddy is making noise. Shh, Daddy, keep quiet. How do you handle financial setbacks or unexpected expenses? Um, this is how we work, guys. I wish we were two of us explaining this. We work with vote heads. Okay, I never knew to call vote heads. For me, it's called budget, but some people, some people here call them vote heads. For us, it's we have a budget for everything, including expenses that are called emergency expenses. So what happens is this, uh, financial setbacks, like I remember the, we've had a financial setback, think twice, weird enough most of them have been brought by a car, I wish they were brought by me wanting a new dress, most of them have been brought about by a car, so those are the financial setbacks that you have, that you have to chunk a lot of money because you don't have a choice, but, and for unexpected expenses, let me be honest with you, if it's unexpected, it means that it's not a necessity. Because the necessities you need is food, clothing, and shelter. So those are expenses that you are aware of. So the rest of them are emergencies. And you have money for emergencies. So we work with voters and we ensure that we've saved up. We build our emergency funds monthly. If we can, there are months that we don't. But we try and build our emergency funds monthly. And most importantly is you realize that as your financial muscle grows, your problems become bigger and you are, <laughs> your setbacks become more expensive. So what happens, we work with vote heads. And every person gets a vote head in the house. Like, this is your account, this is your account. And I'm the one who handles that. I am wise financially. You should start a class of financial savings because I'm stingy. So, for us, we don't deal with them, we just have to plan ahead. We've never had a financial setback, as in, except the major ones that happen, and I've told you twice because of a car. Mostly we work with budgets, and if it's not there, it's not there. We don't force it. So, last question as I go. This journey needs to be filled. Last question! And then, 
the last question. I say goodbye. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's not funny that. Is it funny that any time that I want to end the video is when I get this question? Seriously. <laughs> Today I'm answering it in okay? How has your cultural background shaped your understanding of gender roles and relationships? For someone like me who is a bonti, <laughs> who is not so deep into culture, uh, and by the virtue that times have changed, you know, you know, like you guys, have you read Marriage is a Scam for real? Have you really read Marriage is a Scam? This is a whole topic of Marriage is a Scam. Like a whole topic. Seriously, go to a neighbor's near you and get that book so that you can understand these things. For someone who is raised like me, who is not so into deep into culture, and I have understood that times have changed, we are in the modern era, whereby gender roles are not gender roles anymore. Yes, there are those specific ones whereby a man, a woman nurtures and multiplies, a man provides and protects. Those are the basic ones that everyone knows that can never change even in a thousand years. That one will never change. However, things have changed, whereby a woman can also provide and a man can also help in chores. So I am a modern woman who understands that I have a career, a dream, and a family. And I'm with a modern man who understands that I can't sleep hungry. If I'm left with the kids, they won't have diaper rash. So there are things that are very common and normal right now in this era and age. Not all men agree to taking care of things. And if you can outsource, fine. But not all men agree to this. But for me, I feel like with this era and age, relationships is a partnership. We help each other. Nothing is too big for you and nothing is too big for me. We work together. However, we do not go away from the nurture and multiply, provide and protect. That one shall never change. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope I've answered so many questions today. And I'm, I keep reducing from the jar. I'm going to get to film the jar again. Thank you so much for answering today's questions. I am really grateful you've stuck with me throughout up until now. I am so grateful for everyone who's been subscribing, commenting, liking, and share. And until our next video, I will see you soon. Bye, guys.